Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to change your stock contact form that comes with Divi and I'm gonna show you how to style it and make it look different. So the reason why you may wanna do this is because you want your contact forms to match your branding. So as you can see here, this is our stock contact form. So I've made slight changes to make it look like this. I even changed the button color here and even the arrow and the hover effect. So this is what I'm gonna teach you how to do. And also you can even go a bit further and design it this way and make it look like this. So this ensures that your designs really match your color palette and also your style that you have on your website. And as a result of this, it's gonna make your websites look professional. And also before we begin, if you are new to web design and you'd like to start designing website with Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my web design formula course, a course that teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. The link to that is in the video description below. Once you've bought it, just drop me an email or go to funnels to income.com in the support chat. Just uh, send me a message there and I'll be able to uh, give you access to the course. All right, guys, without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off by uh, creating a brand new page. In fact, you know what? You can even use an existing page for this tip. So I'm gonna come over here to pages and click on add new. So here I'm going to, in fact, let me just make sure this is full screen. Okay, so let's just call this contact. Use Divi Builder. So for this design, we're going to build everything from scratch. So I'm gonna come over here, click on start building. And let's just go with the two column structure here because I wanna show you the before and after. So I'm gonna search for my contact form. So this is what it uh, looks like by default. So I'm gonna duplicate this. And then we are going to customize our form over here on the right. Okay, so as you can see, this is what it looks like out of Divi. And to be honest, if people are searching online and they've uh, used Divi before, they're able to see that this is pretty much the stock layout or the stock design that comes with Divi. So to make your websites different, you want to customize this and make it look totally different using your brand colors. All right, so I'm gonna come over here now to my settings. So the very first thing you wanna do is to decide uh, what you wanna do, do you wanna add a background to this or do you just want to just change the colors inside here? So let's do that first. So I'm gonna come over here to design. So I'm gonna start with uh, the form itself. So here you can see you have filled background color. So you can start uh, changing the colors. So just by choosing my color here, you can see that's already different because these colors here are from my color palette. If you haven't watched my video about how to choose colors or your color palette, I've also have them on the channel, so make sure you go and check them out. All right, so now that we have this, the next stage now is to uh, choose your field text color. So here you can experiment with colors from your color palette and see which ones work. So here, I'm, I'm just clicking around here to see which colors work. So you know what? I think I wanna go with something that's quite light, nothing you know really crazy standing out. So moving on, fields focus background color. Maybe I can do something a bit creative here by uh, adding this. Uh, orangey color here. And then our field focus text color, I'm gonna go with a dark gray. Okay, so with just those little steps, let's save and let's take a quick look and see what it looks like so far. So I'm gonna save the page and exit the visual builder. So now when I click in here, you can see right away, I've just added a style. Whereas over here, there is nothing on the default DV contact form. So already I've started customizing this and making it look really, really awesome. Okay, so moving on, let's go back here and do some further customizations. So what I may want to do here is to go back in, maybe give this a border. So let's go into design and I'm just gonna click on this uh, brush tool. So this will take me to my settings. So here we also have the fields margin, the field padding. So if you wanna increase the padding here, this is where you would do it. So as you can see here, I'm making my, my spaces here bigger. But to be honest, what we have here is fine. In fact, I'll just leave it at 16. Let's do that. Right, so for the font as well, you can change your font to match your, your fonts for your website. And over here, you can set it to all caps if you want to. Maybe that's a style that you wanna go with. So if you just click on all caps, this is what it looks like. But uh, for this example, to be honest, I'll just leave it as it is. Okay, so moving on, uh, you can change your fields text size. Now the Part I'm looking for is the borders. So I'm gonna come over here to border. Now this will dramatically change 
your layout here and make it way different to what it looks like over here with the custom uh, Divi one. So let's add our border. So I'm gonna go like that. So as you can see, I've already added a border here and that's, that's now looking different. Okay, so I could add like a gray border just like that. And I could even go crazy and start adding colors like that. But you know what? When you're going to use uh, bright colors, you want to make sure that um, you tone them down a bit by just dragging this slider down to add some transparency because you don't want the colors, I mean, really bright. You just want to add them in a subtle way. So I think I'll go with that. Or the other way you could do it is by using the slider here. You know, same effect, you know, similar effect. So there we go. Now, what I may also do here is to add some rounded corners. So I'm gonna come over here and let's try eight. In fact, you know what? Let's go with three. So here I've added my rounded corners. So I like setting it to something very low, like three. So that looks great. But you know what? We're not done yet because as you can see, our button here still needs some work. So let's go in and customize our button. So I'm gonna click here on this brush tool and then activate use custom styles for button. So this is where now you can go and design your your button. So here's gonna be uh, my text color. And again, I'm using colors from my color palette. So let me choose this color here. So I'm gonna go with this, really like that. Now to further customize this, I'm gonna go and remove the border. And then I'm gonna continue on. And for my border radius, I'll leave it at three because that will match what I have here. Okay, so now let's go on to the size, the text size. So I can, Bring this down a little bit. I think 16 will do. And then I also can change my um, icon here. So you can see now my icon is slightly different. And you can even go further and um, add, you know where we have our background color here? You can go in and add a hover effect. So let's say I want my hover color here to change. I can just change this to a brighter color here for my hover. So that's adding a bit of style to my button. And uh, cause the idea with this really is to uh, just make sure that your contact form doesn't look similar to DV contact form. Okay, so moving on, let's see what else we can do here. And to be honest, I think we've customized this enough. And for our font here, let's set it to poppins. We can make it all caps if we need to. And then let's add a bit of letter spacing. So I'm gonna go back over here. Where is my letter spacing? There we go. So you don't wanna do it too much. I normally go with two sometimes or even one. Okay, let's go with one. So that looks great. I'm gonna save this. So now you can see that this form is pretty much customized. Doesn't look similar to what uh, the stock form, contact form here from uh, DV comes like. Now, what you can also do here is to add a background. So let's say you want your form to have a background and I wanna show you a design here that you can do. So let's add a regular section and let's add a two thirds, one third here. So let's go with this. So now let's say we are going to have our form in here. Now let's go ahead and change our spacing, I mean our sizing, because right now I can see here that we don't have enough space. So I'm gonna add 80% here to my width. Right, so let's save this. So what we can do now is we can go into our row settings and uh, for the first column here, let's add a background color. Right, so that's our color right there. I'm gonna change it soon because um, it might not be the color that we wanna go with. So over here now on uh, design, I'm gonna add some spacing inside this and let's add some padding. Let's add 5VW here as well. Okay. So as you can see, now we have our form and this has now a background color. So this is another way that you could stylize your contact forms and make them look different to the stock contact form that comes with Divi. All right, guys, so that's all I have for you in today's video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, please leave your questions in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.